Raindrops and roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. Not even these can make me happy. When I read Victorian literature, even in the beauty of a stolid field, because nature is fooling me with its aesthetically pleasing pretense. No happiness, no delusions, and no comfort zones. No happiness, no delusions, and no comfort zones. Dickens' characters struggle through lives of constant afflictions, but somehow make it out well in the end, despite the malignant influence of the Industrial Revolution. Browning and Browning, Elliot and Mill, and Arnold and Tennyson seem doomed in a world where nothing could be seen as pure. The Victorians strove for political, social, and economic reforms, but hated clouds, trees, and bodies of water. Especially Matthew Arnold, whose quintessential Victorian poem, Dover Beach, slapped romantics in the face and left them with the bill. No happiness, no delusions, and no comfort zones. 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 No happiness, no delusions. Everything is ugly if your life is not grand. Let's live your life in ignorance. Save the ugly land. Even through your attempts is ma at making it better will never be enough. You're frail, useless, unattractive, and unsymmetrical. <laughs> Human being, disease, death, and mud. All components of the Victorian novel. <laughs> no happiness, no delusion. Happiness, no delusions, and no comfort zones. No 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 happiness, no delusions, and no comfort zones. You want to say it like this? No happiness, no delusion, and no... And no comfort <laughs> zones. <laughs> okay, sorry. I messed up too. But somehow make it out well in the end. Yeah, stop! I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay. What happened? That's stupid. <laughs> Dickens' characters struggle through what? <laughs> you stop reading. Even in the beauty of a starlit field Because nature is fooling me with its 